In today's video, I'm going to be ranking all of my lip products. Hi guys, welcome back and welcome to my channel. My name is Reese, if you didn't know it, and in today's video, I'm going to be ranking all of my lip products. I want to say before we begin that this is probably not all of them. Like I know I have some stray chapsticks here and there or some like cheap lip products or like a Timu lip liner pack or something. I don't know. These are just like my more popular viral well-known lip products if that makes sense. I probably have well over a hundred individual lip products that are just in this video. Not even like my chapsticks or like my Timu lip liner pack, which is like a pack of like 20, I think. But before we begin, make sure you hit subscribe. It really helps me out, it helps my channel out, and give this video a big thumbs up to let me know you enjoyed it. So without further ado, let's go. In last place, we have the Sephora brand lipstick in the shade 61. So I ordered it because I was getting into browns about four months ago. And it looks normal. It looks like a good, cheaper brown lipstick. No, it literally has like a diarrhea green poop look on your lips. Like it was brown, but it had a green tint. Next, we have the ColourPop Glowy Lip Balm. Um, so the shade's pretty, but this thing breaks. Like that's literally all I have left. And look how long it was. Like this was full. It breaks. And when it goes on your lips, it just kind of like melts and there's big clumps on your lips. And also like I'm allergic to lip products sometimes. So like sometimes lip products make my lips and tongue and inside of my mouth just kind of go like numb and tingly. So I have to be very careful with the lip products I choose and this one gave me kind of like an allergic reaction. Next the lip... Next, the Laneige Glowy, or are these glowy? They're just like lip sleeping masks. If you've been watching my channel for a long time, you know I already hate these. But if you're new, I hate these. So there you go. You know now that I hate these. I know so many people love them, but I just personally find that they don't hydrate my lips. They might work for you, and I'm glad they work for you because they're so popular, they're so cute, they're colorful, they smell good, they have nice flavors, but they just don't hydrate my lips which is the main reason I'm buying this product. Next we have the Revolution Lip Liner in the shade Queen. I bought this in a set a couple months ago. And first off the color looks pretty on my hand, but then it looks pale and pink and cakey and just doesn't look good on my lips. It looks like the 2000s, like when you would put concealer on your lips, blend it in, set it with powder, then put like a Barbie pink lip liner on and then my matte Barbie pink lipstick. That's what this reminds me of, and I hate it, so. Next, we have the Burt's Bees Tinted Lip Balm in the shade Rose. I hate the smell of this. The color's alright, but the smell literally, it, it literally makes me want to throw up. It's just, it's a no for me. Next, we have the Maybelline Superstay Ink Crown Lip Liners. I have shade 20 and 30. I used to really love these. And that was because I didn't have any other lip products. Like, let me swatch them. They're so dry, and they dry out my lips, and they just, they're not good. I don't like them. The colors are all right. I don't know what I was thinking buying this color. And this color was my mom's that I stole from her because I loved it so much when I was, like, 11. And they're probably expired, but I just don't use them ever. They just sit in the bottom of my lip drawer. The Sephora collection makes many great things. Lip products... Not one of them. This is the Sephora Collection lipstick. I don't know which one. I guess they have two. This is in the shade. You know what? I can't read the shade. Let me know if you can read that shade because it's basically clear on the bottom. This really, really, really dark red. Um, kind of the same thing with this as the Glowy Lip Balm from ColourPop. It just kind of breaks. It clumps on your lips. It gives too much product. And the color, there's so much dye I guess you dye in the color that it literally, if my like skin is dry around here, it'll bleed onto my skin and I look like I've been sucker punched in the face. Next we have the Wet n Wild lipsticks. The only reason I used to buy these was I used to be obsessed with making fake bruises like on my hand and arm and everyone believed it and 
um, everyone was like, oh, it's so easy. And then they would do it and they'd send me a picture and they were like, how do you do that? That is so hard. And I would actually make it realistic. If I can find a picture, I'll insert it. I could probably do it better now because I did that when I was nine and it is actually really good. I, I think I did a good job. But anyway, I used to buy these because I would use this red as the blood and I would use this pink color as a base. I don't know. It, it was good for that, but they just don't last on your lips. Okay, so all the products I've showed have been like drugstore or cheaper lip products. Um, this is a high-end one that I don't like. It is the Benetint, ben, or actually no, Benefit Benetint. I know so many people love this. I don't think it lasts. I don't like it as blush because I don't like the red color as blush. Um, and I don't think it stains my lips. Like the only time I would ever wear this would be on my lips. And it just didn't last literally 10 minutes, if that. So... That's just my opinion because I know a lot of people like it, but I don't. Next, we have the Morphe 2 Good Talk uh, Blotted Matte Lipstick in the shade Red Sunset. I literally opened it and it came out. The product literally broke from the base and just flew out. Anyway, here's what it looks like. Yeah, um, this just is, I don't like it because it dries my lips out a little bit more than I want it to. Next, we have the LA Colors Lip Plumper in this disgusting brown shade. See, I'm very picky with browns. I'm not the biggest fan of browns, but when I find a brown, I brown brand, but I can't talk. When I find a brown that I actually really like, then I like it. Um, but this, I don't, and it doesn't plump my lips. It kind of just sits there, and it, again, kind of looks like green. It has, like, a green tint. So, I don't like that. I'm just going to include these together. I have two e.l.f. lip glosses. Um, they're okay. Typical lip glosses. Nothing too special about them. I actually dyed this one pink with, like, blush. Like, um, powder blush or something a little bit ago. Um, but I just, I don't reach for them that often. There's just so many other lip products on the market. Like, clear lip glosses with sparkle. Um, they're okay, though. They're not bad. I know everyone loves this product, and I bought it, and I don't really like it, and I wish I did. And it is the e.l.f. Squeeze Me Lip Balm. Um, I have mine in the shade Strawberry, and I'm actually going to put a little bit on. I just don't think it hydrates my lips that, I mean, at all. It kind of dries them out like the Laneige, kind of the same thing. But I love the smell. The smell is delicious. It's not, like, too power overpowering. Next, we have two of the Sephora Collection Glossed Lip Glosses. One of the most sparkliest, like, most prominent lip, gold lip products, or, like, sparkly lip products, if that makes sense. But, yeah, these, these are all right. They're not my favorite. Again, just kind of like a typical gloss, and they're just not what I reach for because they don't last that long. But, I mean, then again, it's, a, it's the Sephora brand, and it's... $12. Next, we have yet again a Benefit product, actually three of them, the Benefit Lip Stains. So I bought, I think it was Flora Tint, and I loved it, and I went crazy, and I bought two, of, two more, Love Tint and Play Tint. Okay, I don't know what I was thinking. Yet again, they don't last, and they make my lips dry, and they just don't work. And plus, these you can't even use on your cheeks. They're better than the Benefit. They last longer than that. But they're just nothing I reach for anymore, ever. Next, we have the MAC lipstick. This is, like, my favorite red lipstick. Um, it would probably go higher until the internet made me feel self-conscious for liking these. Because they said, if you like a MAC lipstick, you're, like, an 80-year-old woman. So, and I did research. Literally, anyone that I've ever seen use a MAC lipstick was, like, 40 or older. And I'm like... Literally, my mom doesn't even use MAC lipsticks. Next, we have the ColourPop Fresh Kiss Glossy Lip Stains. So, I bought this purple one, and it's kind of leaking. I need to clean it up. And I loved it, but I didn't like the purple color. And then I bought this. It's one of those things where I buy a ton of them in, the, like, the first two weeks, and then I decide I don't like it, and then I never reach for either of them. Kind of the same thing with the Benefit Lip Stain things. But I just, I'm not a fan of these. They're okay. Next, we have the NYX Duck Plump. So, this isn't terrible. I don't reach for it because I don't love the shade. Because I was actually expecting to not like this. So, that's why I picked a crappy shade. Because everyone hated this. And I thought, ooh, I'll just go with a shade I don't own. Just to have it. In case I ever wanted it. Which I never do. And I knew I would never want it. But still, I went with it. And, um, I don't hate it. Like, most people hate the, uh, 
Jack Plump from NYX. I don't think it's that bad of a, I don't think it has like that bad of a sting. Um, but that's just me because I put a lot of crap on my lips. Um, I love these, don't get me wrong. The price is great, but they just don't last as long as I would want them to. But then again, they are $2, the e.l.f. lip liners. I reach for these whenever I need like a quick look. Like I use these all the time in my videos because they last for a little bit. Like in my shorts when I'm doing like a random short I'll just throw this on because they're gorgeous and they're cheap and I can like use them and whatever but they don't last. Like when I'm going out shopping or whatever I usually go for a more expensive or a better lip liner because these don't last that long but I think the colors are beautiful. The price is amazing. The only problem I have with it or with them is longevity. This is a gorgeous lip gloss. One of my prettiest but this is probably the one I have the most reaction to um like with the mouth tingling thing it is the Fenty Beauty lip gloss in the shade Champagne Stamp Fantasy I was actually looking at their new lip balm thing that they launched like a week ago in Sephora the other day it gave me the same effect Fenty I guess just Fenty Beauty lip products do that but it literally made my mouth burn like I had to wash it off like multiple times because it made my mouth just tingle burn the entire mouth was numb so that's the only reason next we have the elf holy hydration lip mask um i bought this eight months ago it's one it's a good lip product i mean i hit paint on it like there's hardly anything left i like it it's good um i don't reach for it as often obviously because i have way more lip mask now out of all of them i would definitely reach for this Next we have the Benefit Moisturizing Dewy Lip Tint. This is probably Benefit's best lip product. I like the shade I picked. Um, I actually bought this in a set with the Benefit Tint. Um, this is in the shade 01 Skinny Dip, by the way. I like it. It's basically just a nude pink. Next we have the Glossier RoseBalm.com Lip Balm. Um, I have the new formula, not the old Formula 1. Um, it's basically just clear. I like it. It's a nice basic lip balm. What I love about this is it moisturizes my lips, but it doesn't look glossy at all. So it's like a perfect non-glossy, just like perfect, no makeup whatsoever, like not even clear gloss makeup look. Next we have the e.l.f. Sun Boss Gloss Broad SPF 25 Sunscreen Lip Balm thing. This is in the shade Pick Me Girl. I think. I like the shade. I like it. I wear it all through summer. Perfect lip gloss. So yeah, I really, really like this. I would say we are halfway through now. So this actually kind of pains me to say, but I was going through my products and I realized that the other products I like more than these. And these are the Summer Fridays lip balms. And I have the vanilla. It's in one of my purses somewhere. Um, I did not feel like digging it out, but just know there's a vanilla somewhere. I just realized that I like other lip products more than these, but they are amazing. Don't get me wrong. I love my summer Fridays. I mean, I have four of them. Um, I do not re regret buying these. Like, I kind of went crazy. Like, I bought the poppy shade, and then I think I bought cherry, and then pink sugar, I think. Wait, it was like poppy and the vanilla, and then pink sugar and then cherry. These were not like these. Like I went crazy and bought all these and now I don't like these at all. Um, I still love these and I still reach for these. So just know that. Next we have the Rare Beauty lipstick in the shade Lively. I love this. It's perfect. It's not like drying on the lips. The only thing I regret is buying the wrong shade because this is kind of like peachy and I don't like the color of this on my lips. It looks pretty but then I put it on my lips and I was just kind of meh about it. Um, but yeah, next we have the Rare Beauty lip oils. A lot of people don't like these. I, I realize that now. Um, I love them because I put them on. They're glossy. They're gorgeous. And then when they dry down, they are basically matte and they leave a stain on your lips. So I love these. Usually I put them on and, um, I do a nice layer of it. And then throughout the day, I'll just apply a clear gloss over top and it brings the color through and I just have to pack a clear gloss with me. So I love these and these are definitely worth the hype. I recommend them. I know most people don't though, but I do. Next we have the NYX Lip Pencil. This is the crown one in the shade Natural. I like it. Um, obviously it's a pencil. It's not like creamy. It's more firmer, I guess. I don't really... Okay, I gotta quit dropping stuff. A little bit more firm. I don't know much about lip liners. Could you tell? But I like it. It's cute. It's natural. It's not too expensive. Next we have Aquaphor. You cannot go wrong with Aquaphor. No, I really like this. It definitely beats a lot of other lip products I've tried. 
It's very similar to the Glossier. Like when you put it on, it's not glowy or anything, but it hydrates my lips. Next we have the Huda Beauty Faux or Fox Filler in the shade Bombshell. I love this, but it kind of gives my lips a reaction as well, like the Fenty one. Um, I love the color, but it just, again, it kind of gives me a reaction. I said in a short that I wasn't sure if I liked the smell or if I didn't because it smells like coconuts, and I've decided I don't really like it. Next we have the Broadway Ultra Lip Mango Butter Lip Gloss. I thought this was not a popular lip product, but I've noticed some people use them and I love this this is one of my most glossiest lip products ever so underrated like I'm gonna put it on right now for you guys and it just makes your lips literally look like they're dripping like look at that and it does not give me a reaction and the smell is very light it does not bother me next we have the Huda Beauty liquid matte lipstick in the shade icon I like this it's a little too bold for everyday wear but it's cute I like it it lasts a long time I usually throw a clear gloss over top and voila so we have the ColourPop so juicy plumping lip gloss or balm in the shade vacay mode I love this I think it works great it's a simple lip balm I would not say there's much plumping to it like it's not doesn't have much of a plumping effect but I really really like it it's actually one of my top lip balms I reach for this often next we have the ColourPop lippy stick in the shade oh snap it's matte this is the brown I like because it's just nude I wear this all the time I love this I, I, I just highly recommend it it's honestly one of my favorite lip products that I go for. It's definitely not an everyday look, but I love this so much. Next, we have the Patrick Ta Lip Plumper in the shade Full Syringe. Um, I don't like the shade I picked. I, again, once I went from orange, I went to red. And then from red, now I'm in, like, clear and just very light pinks. I talk about these probably not enough. I love these. These are the Essence What the Fake Lip Plumpers. I think I have three. I don't know what happened to one of them, but I have two here. So I have this one, which is the icy effect, and then this one, which is made with hydronic acid. I think I reached for this one a little bit more, probably just because it's blue and it's cool. But best, cheapest lip product, $4.99, and these are amazing. If you are going to buy any product from this video from Ulta, let it be one of these because these are literally amazing. Next, we have the House Labs Lip Oil. I love this. It's a simple, clear lip gloss, and the color is not the color. It's pretty much just kind of clear, but yeah, it's, it's cute. I like it. Next, we have the Lana Lips 101 Ointment Multi Lip Balm in the shade Strawberry. Love, obsessed, but I really, really like this. This would probably be a hair higher. It'd probably be in my top five if it wasn't for that. Vaseline. You cannot go wrong with Vaseline. I use this all the time. Um, whenever my lips are like super trapped from the beach, this is the product I'm reaching for. Literally. Not when my lips are fine. When my lips are fine, I reach for something else. But when my lips are in desperate need of hydration, like after the beach or when I'm sick and like you're breathing through your mouth, literally this. I lived off this when I was sick a couple months ago. Welcome to top five. <laughs> In fifth place, we have the NYX Retractable Lip Liners. Um, I have Nude, Pink, and Nude. Okay. Um, love both of these shades. I'm going to swatch them. Usually, when I do a matte or like a nude lip look, I'll do the ColourPop Lippy Stick, obviously, and then this uh, NYX Retractable Lip Liner in the shade Nude. Um, love it. And then, usually when I line my lips, I go for this. It pretty much matches anything. It's the Nude Pink. So, we have the Charlotte Tilbury Lipsticks. These are my favorite lipsticks. Love them, obviously. They're amazing. They don't dry my lips out. The shades are amazing. Literally awesome. I have two of the Pillow Talk mediums. I have one Walk of No Shame, and then I have one Kissing. If you're going to buy a lipstick from this video, let it be these. They're amazing. In third place, we have the e.l.f. Lip Oils. Um, I think I only have three. These two are the same, sh same shade. I think I have Mom's my mom's they're amazing i love them i talk about them all the time they're just awesome you cannot go wrong with an eight dollar elf lip oil i could not decide between second and first place so here are my top two favorite lip products the gisu lip oil in the shade watermelon and the fenty skin lip sleeping mask in the shade i think this is just the original vanilla one these are both 100 percent worth your money i want to get the new one, the new Push Put In one from Fenty, and also the new Coconut Lip Oil. So, those two things are probably like my number two things on my wish list for Sephora right now. 
um, but for some reason I want to get them in store and I haven't seen the push put in in store and I have not seen the Gisu coconut in stock and that is it for today's ranking lip product videos again I would like to mention those are not all of my lip products just like my top ones that I still use I probably have some that I never ever use that have been sitting somewhere for like two years but obviously those do not count. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below what's your favorite lip product and subscribe for more content like this. To watch more of my videos, click right here.